Welcome to one of our walks and welcome to London. Now, funnily enough, it's just come up in a survey that London is one of the top four places in the world as a city to go walking in because it's great for your health, it helps you see stuff and actually, why wouldn't you? So, as you can see, we're right by the O2 and today we're walking at the top of the Docklands. Now, if you look at a map of London and you look at the River Thames, you'll see that the Docklands is that bit that sort of juts down from the northern bank out towards the east of London. And we are walking across that top bit that juts out. So, as you've seen, we've got the O2 and as we look down the river here, we're actually now looking towards Greenwich. And what you can see off in the distance there is the hill that overlooks from Greenwich Observatory down the Thames. Now for those of you that aren't crane fans, I'm really, really sorry, you're going to be a bit disappointed because Docklands without cranes is like the River Thames without water. Yes, they're all over the place and there you go, they're in existence right there from the start. So loads and loads of building going on and it's a, certainly a place of generation after regeneration after regeneration because uh, Docklands, whilst it's been in full operation since the mid 1990s and started its building in the 1980s, it's now got to a point where they're starting to knock things down and then they're starting to rebuild them again. And as we look down the Thames, you'll be able to see we have sailing ships on the Thames. Now, if we go back to the Greenwich Peninsula, which is over there, which is just a posh name for the bit that contains the O2, this is the start, if you want to get an Uber boat or get a Thames uh, River bus down into central London. And interestingly enough, when the buses and the Thames River buses aren't in use, this is where they're moored, just over there on the other side of the river. And here in operation, right by the side, just in case you thought the docks weren't being used, we have a dock in full use and a barge boat being loaded up with all sorts well, all sorts of crates are ready to be shipped down the Thames and maybe out to the sea. Right, let's start our walk. Off in the distance there, just behind the O2, you can also see the Emirates cable car, which takes people from the O2 over towards the Royal Docks, which is round by the Excel Center. Now, the fantastic thing about doing this walk here over a Canary Wharf as well, is there's lots and lots of water. So we've seen the Thames already, and then we go to the docks. And how about this? This is well and truly got covered in green algae. And yes, it is algae, it's not solid, as proven by the ducks swimming in it. Thank you for the demonstration, guys, appreciate it. Right, so we can see plenty of water. Also in a recent survey, not only did it find London is one of the best places, one of the best cities in the world to go walking in, but also they found that water, and not just by the oceans uh, and major rivers and waterfalls, but also just sort of rivers, docks, etc., was very, very therapeutic and very, very relaxing for your nature. So what a better thing to do. One, we'll go walking in London, and two, we'll also cover some of the water. Now we're on the other side of the bridge, where the water is not affected by the algae, because, as you can see, it's all closed off. And actually, if boats are down here, there are other ways out to the River Thames. But as you can see, you've got quite a lot of flats and houses right by the water which is also great because you can go for a little walk up and down I don't think we'll be able to go too far here but let's show you into the docks and also have we got some amazing boats to show you boats more like super liners here docked at Canary
Now the great thing is with these bridges, actually it gives you sort of passage to get over in between the different houses and the different parts of the docks. So once we've got the great expanse of water, we can go up and have a look. So these bridges are great, but you've got to be careful because actually they're very, very open. So if you've got little children, hold on to them for dear life. Right, let's just have a quick look around from this vantage point of this bridge going across here. So you've got the skyscrapers of Canary Wharf overlooking this dock. I can't remember what this dock's called actually, I'll put it, put it on the video so you'll see it there. And as you can see, very picturesque. And then round to the houses. But something that is brilliant, which I love, is we've got another little dock area here which is quite closed off, it's quite sheltered. It's not part of the main part. And you've got these sorts of houses here. But how about that? You've got a kayak. And actually further down I noticed they had a dinghy in their sort of part too. So actually you can get out about and do water sports in the water as well, if you so feel like it. Love it. Now we're going to go past the major building area where there's lots of stuff going on and what are they putting up? Lots more accommodation. And if you just want to have a look, just go to a website and put in prices of houses at Canary Wharf. You're not going to get much change for hmm, under a couple of million pounds and that's for an apartment. Now what's going to be really interesting is, with all this building work going on, if you come back down here in about a year's time, this place is going to be completely open, there'll be loads of green space, because they're putting in lots of green space around as well, which is great, but also there'll be lots of shops, cafes, restaurants, you name it, they're putting them up as part and parcel of putting up the accommodation, so they're certainly putting in the facilities as well. And Docklands is really well catered for, for transport wise. You've got the Jubilee line that comes down here, which really links central London out. You've got the brand new Elizabeth line, also known as the Crossrail. That's open here as well. So that really zooms you from one side of London to the other and into the city very, very quickly. You've got the Docklands line railway with major services going off to uh, into South London towards Greenwich and out that way and also over towards uh, the city to take you there. So you really have got good, great connections. But also so much of it is pedestrianised as well. Now the great thing is they first say put in green space, but they put park areas in with exercise. And also, right, let's show you some amazing ships. So here we're down by Harbour Quay and this boat over here which you can see which is a 58.5 foot yacht, super yacht, is worth 45 million pounds which is incredible and it's owned by a, a Russian multi-billionaire so I'm guessing at the moment it might well be staying there for some time sanctions etc going on in the world at the moment. 
this is well worth a walk down. Because here, this is Wood Wharf we're actually on as part of Harbour Quay. We've got beautiful views. And as you can see, if you want to come and sit down, there are loads of benches down the side. And also if you're a bit worried about water, you can sit over here on the benches as well. This harbour has direct access to the Thames, hence we can get some of this souping rocks down there. If you're still in the heart of Docklands, you've still got the big buildings, you've got the parks here. Actually, they've done them really, really well. Very attractive. But, we've also got this massive expanse of water, and it's so relaxing. This boat we're looking at here is called the Boathouse, which is a restaurant available for private bookings, etc. But look, sit on the top, very nice. Tables, chairs, little lamp, and watch the world go by. Although, I'm guessing it might be quite costly. Oh, there, you've even got that bit at the end there. Very nice. The Boathouse. Right, let's walk around. Amazing, isn't it? It's all built up, but you still have the harbour going through it. We've got some more yachts over there, smaller ones this time. Much more small. They've cost a pretty penny to come down here as well. Canary Wharf, it's worth remembering, it is a busy centre of activity. The City of London pretty much moved out here to Canary Wharf, brought all its buildings out, it was cheaper at the time, hence you've got all these offices here. So we're filming this at 10 minutes to midday. So the smell of food is incredible. And even Amazon, we've got an Amazon Fresh place here. So you can go and get your shopping from Amazon. And if you've not tried an Amazon store, they are weird. Walk in, pick your stuff up, walk out. And it charges you through your Amazon app. <sighs> Amazing. Right. <laughs> so the three biggest buildings here at Canary Wharf are the Citibank one you can see, the HSBC building, and behind that, which you can't see at the moment, is Canary Wharf Tower itself. Also known as One Canada Square. And then what you've got is you've got lots of interconnecting bridges which lead you between the different places. And as you can sit straight down there, you can get to the other keys and wharfs just by going through a series of bridges. But you'd have to get that all organised first if you've got your boat. If you've got a large boat, that is. Mind you, if you've got a large boat with that sort of money, getting things organised like that is nothing. Right. Now, over here in the centre, by the way, a lot of this is closed off to traffic, so you can go through security, which is quite good, but you can still be careful. They have set up a large lunchtime area, which is good. So, a large lunchtime area for those coming out of the offices at midday. So they've got lots of security around, which is interesting because I'm being watched like a, a thing possessed with my camera.
particular street food here in the middle of Canary Wharf, as you can see, for all sorts of tastes. And then you've got an area in the centre where you can come and sit and have a look when the weather's good. Right, Canary Wharf station is large. So there's a number of different entrances into Canary Wharf station. So as you can see, you're, you're never far away from transport. But we're going to go past that and through to the other side, we're going to go through Jubilee Park. Now at Christmas, over the last few Christmases, we've had it all lit up, so we cover it this year actually. But we're going to go through Jubilee Park, which is another green space. Once again, you really don't think of Dockland having green space. You think of the water, yeah, and they also think of the buildings, all the apartments, the offices. And that noise you can hear me is a plane going off from London City Airport, which is also just down the road from here, not that far. But also easily accessible on the transportation. But as you go through, now they haven't got them on, but these are all fountains normally, all shooting out water. It's a lovely area. And at Christmas they put fairy lights around all the trees. So it really makes it stand out. So as you can see, plenty of places for people to come and sit, make phone calls, talk to people, eat drink here we are we haven't got another food place and then you've got the entrance to jubilee place which is the shopping center downstairs so you come here there's a couple of shopping centers i'll tell you more about that a little bit later because we've got a video on that so i'll tell you about that a little bit later right as we're going through oh that's why they've turned them all off they're doing some uh, cleanup i dare say after summer getting rid of all the algae actually those ducks could do with that help from earlier You've also got sculptures here as well, so it's a bit of an art to look around. You've got those. There are waterside apartments available to rent? I bet they are. I wonder how much they are. Hmm. Right, we're now coming out at the other side of Jubilee. Uh, of um, Canary Wharf Station on the Jubilee Line and we're coming out near Heron's Wharf so if you're following me on a Google map like many people do and also Apple Maps and other map services are available then you'll know where we are now interestingly you can see going across here the Dockland's Line Railway that's just left Canary Wharf Station on the Docklands and going into Heron Keys Station across the bridge. Right, just to give you a view around. Right in front of us. Um, it's a canary wharf uh, itself, the main building, the highest building here at the centre. So you may have seen this before because I've put these clocks a number of times actually on the community posts. That's where the clocks are. Telling the time or a number of different clocks in different parts. And what's interesting is this building here inside the Heron Keys has actually just, well, they're just finishing it off now, as you can see, they've actually put the glass in here. But over the last six months, they've taken the old building down, completely knocked it down, put up a brand new building, and having this one ready to go. And this is the regeneration that happens down here at Canary Wharf. It's almost like, right, it's been here for 10 years. I've had enough, let's, let's change it. And if you look at old pictures of Canary Wharf, or old videos of Canary Wharf, you'll see it because it used to have the ticker tape going around the side, so that it used to have the news or the share prices and that going around that side of that building. Right, so once again we've got, that's the Doctor's Light Railway Bridge leading into Heron Keys. And as we swing round, we have the entrance into Canary Wharf and the shopping centre, etc., which is down through there. And then we have Canary Wharf Station, and that's sort of the other side of Canary Wharf Station. Here. And then the park we've just walked, Jubilee Park, which we've just walked through. Now, we're going to go down 
called the Back Street. Because the idea is to get from one side of the Thames in this walk to the other. So we've looked at it from looking at the O2, Greenwich Peninsula, but now we're going through to the other side and we're going to look at the Thames and look at it as it's looking and heading off down towards the city. Now, if you've seen views of that before, it's probably because you've watched one of our um, videos on getting an Uber boat from Canary Wharf into Westminster, which is a fantastic view. And if you've not seen that video, I shall put a link for that up in the top right-hand corner for you, which is a brilliant way of getting around London and a great way of seeing some of London's history. See the old Dockers Light Railway going across. So instead of hearing the thunder, and the Royals would go under the bridge. There we go, and that's Canary Wharf and Station on the Docklands. Just over there. Under the canopy. Okay. Let's continue the walk along Heron Quay. So, here we have Office Block, situated right next to apartment blocks. So actually, if you worked in those, if you worked in one of those and lived in the other, you wouldn't have far to go to work. Although the inconvenience is going up and down in the lifts, especially if you lived on the top floor and then worked on the top floor of the other one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> First world problems, yeah? which is another one of these bridges that opens. We're going over, so if boats were going to come through, they could cut through here. Of course, other ways of getting to Canary Wharf include the buses. And as you can see, there's plenty of them coming down here. mezzanine floor, a gym area. Amazing. Everything thought of. Now off in the distance, we'll see if we can focus in on it. You can see the Shard over at the City of London. So as we come out the other side of Canary Wharf, we're going to go to the Thames in a minute, so don't worry, don't go anywhere yet. Again, okay, you've got the Canary Wharf building there with the tip on it, then you've got the City Bank Tower, so it's a joint second one with the HSBC building. And interestingly, this new building they put here, Look at the way that sort of arches. I think this is the European Central Bank, it's the European Bank. But they literally just built here, so it's a brand new building at the edge. And these are tall buildings. These are probably some, what, 40 foot? Sorry, 40 floors, 30 floors? Something like that. Here at Canary Wharf, so certainly dominating the skyline. Now, as you can see from the blue hoarding by the side of me, yes, more building work going on. But the building work going on here is right at the front of the Thames. So I'm guessing they're probably putting up some flats for Thames views, which will then roll, rather spoil the views for those in the new office blocks. Yeah, there's nothing happening there at the moment, but it looks like they've got footings in. Anyway, building is going on. Now, oh, here we go. I thought I spotted it. Now one of the things we'll have to do at some point is called the Thames Path. 
which, as the name suggests, takes you right around the Thames, all around London, where they're not building. So let's grab onto that. Also, of course, as you can see, well used for people fancying a jog at lunchtime. Yeah, looks like too much of an effort for me. I'll just carry on doing the walking around. I'll carry on doing the walking around and try not to sound like I'm out of breath on the microphone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just up there. So we've got a little dock area here, which is closed off with a gate to the Thames. And there we go, we're about to hit the Thames. On the Thames path. This is the Limehouse Knock, apparently. Because it says so on this board, which is rather handy. As you can see, the tide is out. But a little bit of water coming through, not too much, but the tide's out, waiting for it to come in. And I'm guessing there's not any oh, you, you can get down there. There's some steps just there. But normally when the Thames tide is out, you've got mudlarkers all down the beaches digging up stuff from years gone by which have been thrown in, often finding some very old artefacts. Now, over in that direction over there, and let's just sort of bring it in for you, you've got the Limehouse Basin. We have a video on that. That's beautiful, beautiful little marina with uh, boats moored in there, docked in there, uh, which is lovely. So I'll put that up in the top right-hand corner for you. Over here, that coming out, that reaching out with the arm, is the where you can pick up the Thames Clipper boat, otherwise known as the Uber boat, which will take you to central London. Uh, interestingly enough, there is just one coming around the corner now, so we'll have a look at that in just a second. And then as you go around, you've got Columbia Wharf. And uh, just as a reminder, if you've not seen some of our videos before, Wharf, actually, W-H-A-R-F, stands for Warehouse at Riverfront. That's where the name Wharf came from. There you go. Not only do we show you some great places in London, or some different walks in London and some different things, but also a bit of info as well. <laughs> now, coming up here, we have the City Cruises boat. So I'm guessing that that is on its way into London to go and fill itself up. Well, there's a couple of people on there. So then get some tourists and take them around. And as we look at the Thames here and down, that's heading down towards Greenwich. So that's the bit on the other side of the bank that is just underneath the dip on the south. It overlooks Canary Wolf on this whole area. So there we go, we've made it from one side to the other. Walking across the top of the Canary Wharf, almost Canary Wharf Peninsula, we could call it. So thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed our walk as we've gone from one side of the Canary Wharf Peninsula to the other, taking you from the O2 to the other side, um, looking across to the city of London. And actually, it's not that far, but actually it's got some beautiful places en route and in between. It just gives you a sort of flavour for how Canary Wharf has been built up and the regeneration that sort of keeps going on. Now some of the places that we covered when we went through Canary Wharf was Canary Wharf Shopping Centre itself and also the Jubilee Place one. And I've put that video for you just here. So if you click on that, that's your next video that you want to see because then that gives you the whole picture of what is going on down here at Canary Wharf. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.